Hi, my name is Rich Horton. I'm with Arbonne Equipment, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Fast Tracks door. First of all, it's a very high speed door and it's fairly self explanatory how it works. It's activated either by the push button, which is on the control panel, or by your motion detectors, which are on both sides of the door on the goal posts. When the door is activated, it runs rather quickly. It's set up on a timer. It will time out and then reclose as it's doing right now. When the door is in motion on the way down, the safeties are enacted to if the safety is broken, the door will go back up. And so I'll demonstrate that now. So here we have our two photo eyes. One's mounted lower and one is mounted higher. If these are broke, the door will stop and go back open. Once the obstruction's clear, the door will time out and reclose. If for some reason the photo eyes do not pick up the traffic that's coming through, the motion detectors don't pick that up, and someone actually hits the door, the door has a feature where it will break away. And once the door is broke away, it will reset itself as it goes up to the top of the track. So to reset it, just push the button. Now the door is not an impact door. It's not meant to be impacted, but if the accidental impact, it should be able to put itself back in its own guides. There are two fans on the door, and this is to help circulate air across to mitigate any moisture that might come across the curtain. As far as maintenance on the door, the new doors have an ICOM on the inside, on the control box. Or this is just a little ICOM computer board that tells you exactly what's going on with the door. Right now it has 208 cycles on the door and it shows that the door is closed. When the button is pushed, the door will open. It'll say door opening. It's closing in five seconds. Three, two, one. It says door closing and now has 209 cycles. And it actually has a counter to where it'll let you know how many cycles it'll start flashing, time to do maintenance on it. So it'll let you know, much like your car shows an oil change at 3,000, 5,000 miles, this control box will do the same thing. It'll let you know it's time to have a maintenance done on it. Periodically, at least every three months, it's good to go through the whole door. The tracks need to be lubricated. And you know what, that, that's one of the biggest points on this door is you want to make sure that you put the right lubricant in there and do it, you know, on the regular basis. Because yeah. if you don't, it'll drag. Make sure your photo eyes are clear, wiped off, those types of things. The drive tube assembly, which you can see at the top, is the thing that actually drives this door. It has the cogs on the inside that are, that are mounted to the sides of the curtain, those little spheres. And that's what actually lifts the door. It drives off the motor, off that shaft and it's, you can see the little cogs on both sides of the shaft. So that's what picks up the, the curtain at the same time on both sides. So pretty self-explanatory. There's really not a whole lot to it. It is an insulated curtain on this freezer, so you see the thickness of the material. Because it has insulation inside the curtain, there's not a, a, a window inside on the curtain. Therefore, we have these light bars, which do not, or do not enter on the red light, so basically, that's what the other motion detector's for. You can see it lighting up every once in a while. It's, it's picking me up. So when a forklift comes towards the door, what's happening is these lights are flashing on the outside or inside of the, the cooler to let people know that there's someone coming through because there's not a, a window here that they can see you coming. So these, these light bars basically are for a safety that way, to let people know that there's someone coming on the other side. And if for any reason you may need something in the future for this door, like parts or service, there are two ways to get to know exactly how this door is manufactured parts-wise. One is on the side of the control box right here, there's a sticker that gives the serial number, RHC number, the date, manufacturer, size of the door, voltage phase, all that's on the side. And then on the side frame, the sticker's also right there with some of that information as well. So those two numbers 
tie us into exactly what's on this door. Yeah. Now, the side two replaceable for some reason. They, they are. They are. Replace. Yeah, and if you notice on the inside, I'll open it up. You'll see an air an air bag that goes around. Yeah. This is your this is your seal right here. It has a little bit of warm air going through it right now. Keep it from freezing. And if for some reason they come really close to your door jams and hit this, well, they're going to take out your door jam, but they may damage this, this little seal as well. So, yeah, it's a replaceable. Yeah, I was just I was wondering on this here, where it goes in here. Yeah, that's actually part of the curtain. So if that got damaged, you would need to get a new curtain. Right. Yeah, it's heat welded together. Yeah. We want to thank you very much from Arbonne Equipment and Ride Height for purchasing our products.